Paul, you have an inn at the Coast Guard, so I need you to find out whatever you can about the Haunted Star. Come on in. And Allison, uh, I need you to do the same thing with government leads. If they're credible, find them. Sorry, big news day. Oh, no, no problem. That's actually why I dropped by. Dante's been working so hard on the investigation, but he hasn't said anything about Victor. Have you heard anything? Yeah, the Haunted Star has gone from its mooring. There's no accounting for it. They believe there's hostages, three of them. That's all I know. Okay. Well, if anything new comes in, will you please keep me updated? Mm-hmm. If you do the same for me. I heard you were in court this morning. What's up? You had a reporter at the courthouse. He said that Cody Bell was arrested for grand larceny and you bailed him out. Why? Well, because Cody's Dante's friend and he needed help. So why didn't Dante help him? Because he's busy searching for Victor. So you thought you'd just step in? Okay, if you want to hear the full story, I'll tell you the full story. Sasha Gilmore had a very expensive bracelet on loan and Gladys Corbin was wearing it at the time. And according to Gladys, who is not the most reliable narrator, said that the bracelet just magically disappeared from her wrist. And said bracelet was found in the pocket of Cody's jacket, which he was not wearing at the time. Doesn't mean he's innocent. What happened to my mother, the lawyer, who believed all defendants were innocent until proven guilty? She got disbarred. I was under the impression that you didn't trust Cody. Mom? I told you that I'm handling this. You have enough to deal with. Fine. I'm not going to interfere where I'm not wanted. Do you really mean that? I'm trying. You don't want me involved in this business with Cody? I won't be involved. Have you been hit on the head? <sighs> I've just been told off. Oh, by Gregory. Gregory and I had a, a run-in. Another one? Yeah, compounded on top of the mess that I made the first time when I went to his boss behind his back. Okay, Mom, well, maybe you shouldn't have called his boss. But you were just trying to help. And that's what a good friend would do. Speaking of friends, let's go back to Cody. Dante... Seems to know as much about Cody as he doesn't know about uh, uh, No, no, no. I told you I am dealing with this. We're talking about Gregory now. Well, whatever happened? Did he admit to having a drinking problem? Gregory doesn't have a drinking problem. Okay. Well, I know that you've been really concerned for him. If not a drinking problem, then what is it? <laughs> <laughs> 